With every diopter of myopia progression, a child has an increased risk for developing glaucoma, cataracts, retinal detachment, and myopic maculopathy later in life. The time to address these vision-threatening conditions is not when they appear, but when myopia first develops. Act now, change tomorrow. Meet Tara. At minus 10 diopters, Tara has high myopia and has struggled with it her whole life. Myopia-related conditions also began to develop in early adulthood. Here's Tara's story. For me, myopia had already developed by the time that I was two years old. My mom noticed that I was sitting too close to the TV, so she brought me to our eye doctor and we learned that I would need glasses. Growing up, my eyesight became worse and worse. Each new pair of glasses I got needed to be thicker and thicker. And the thicker my glasses became, the less I liked wearing them because of the way that they looked on my face. What I didn't know at the time was that my risk for other eye conditions was increasing as well, and that those eye conditions would become a much bigger problem. Already in my 30s, I needed treatment for holes that appeared in my retina. When Tara began coming to our practice with her children, with uh, Jason and Melanie, uh, we had to have a talk about how uh, her myopia and her husband's myopia would lead to increased risk for their kids as well. So uh, she's nearsighted myopic and her husband is my, uh, nearsighted as well. So each, each parent increases each child's risk by three times. By the time each of my kids, Jason and Melanie, turned eight, we started noticing signs of myopia. I'm Jason and I'm 11 years old. When I was in third grade, I started having trouble seeing the whiteboard. I got glasses, but I didn't like to wear them. They would fog up when I was being active in running races. Once I got contact lenses, my vision improved. It was a lot easier to focus during soccer games. I'm Melanie and I'm 10 years old. I got glasses in third grade too but they would fog up when I wore my masks, and it was annoying. I want to be able to see clearly all of the time. When I heard my kids had myopia, I thought about my mom. She was in the same situation when I was a kid, watching my prescription going up. I called her after Jason and Melanie's appointments and said, this is hard, I didn't know. It was one thing to go through it myself, but now this is really hard as a mom to see my kids experiencing the same. When we had these discussions with Tara, Fortunately, what we know now is so much better about what we knew then when we were growing up, even five to 10 years ago. Uh, when the FDA approved the MySight One Day Contact Lenses for myopia control in children eight to 12 at the initiation of treatment, I was super excited to share this information with her and her children. And now they're both fitted, Jason and Owen are both fitted with those, fit with those lenses and they're doing really well. Though I've had myopia for almost my entire life, it got real for me when my retina began tearing. It was a terrifying moment for me and thinking about life down the road for my own children. I was able to have laser surgery to repair my own retina, but I will have to stay vigilant about my eyes for the rest of my life. I didn't want them to have to go through that at all. Any parent wants the best for their kids. In the Brilliant Futures Myopia Management Program with My Sight One Day is the easiest way that I can help my kids with their eye health. I'm so thankful that I can do something to make a difference and that my children are less, less likely to experience my struggle.